Hello everyone and welcome to the RV Inspection and Care podcast and video. I'm Dwayne and I'm a certified RV inspector. And today we're going to be talking about B plus RVs and how they compare to other types of RVs. You know, some people say that the B plus is the perfect RV. Is that true? Well, we'll talk about that. But first of all, Let's identify a B plus RV. I mean, what is that anyway? And you know the truth? It's kind of hard to say for sure what a B plus RV really is. It's more or less just a marketing term that's been come up with to try to explain an RV that's a little bit different from other types of RVs. And there's lots of opinions out there about what identifies a B plus RV. The only thing that everybody seems to agree on is that it is an RV that falls somewhere between a class B and a class C. And so, you know, when you have B already taken up and you have C already taken up, there just aren't any letters to go with. So they called it the B plus. And I guess that's better than calling it a C minus, right? Well, here's my opinion and my definition of a B plus RV. And first of all, let's start with what a class B RV is. It's pretty clear what it is because they're hard sided vans. They look just like almost any other van that you're going to see out there, except there's going to be things on the outside that looks like an RV. And because they're hard sided, well, then their width and their length is pretty well set. And you don't usually find uh, slides in a class B RV. Now let's talk about a class C. What is that? Well, it's usually built on a heavy duty commercial chassis. Uh, very often, chassis like the Ford E350 and E450 chassis. That means they can take a lot more weight. So Class Cs are bigger, they're longer, they can have slides, and so on. So what is the B+. Plus? Well, a B+, plus is on a van chassis, but it's not a hard-sided van. The, the RV manufacturer buys the cab and the frame and then builds the RV on top of it. So it's wider than a class B because they can go a little bit wider. They're not restricted by the hard sides of a van. They sometimes can go longer as well and they very often put in slides in the B+. Now let's compare the B plus to the class C RV. And the bottom line is it's not as big or as heavy. Class B plus RVs generally are going to weigh somewhere around six to 11,000 pounds fully loaded. The class C starts somewhere around 12,000 and can go up to 20,000 pounds. So clearly there's a weight difference between the two. Now, a lot of people get hung up on whether something has the area that comes out over the cab or not. And they feel that that cab over is what always identifies a Class C. I don't subscribe to that because I don't think something like that, a feature like that, should identify a whole type of RV. In my opinion, it's the size, it's the weight that makes the real difference between Class B, Class C, and in between the B+. At least that's the definition that makes the most sense to me. Now, of course, because it's all an opinion, well then, if you disagree with that, that's fine because there's no real clear-cut definition to go with. But that's what uh, seems to make the most sense to me anyway. Now, let's start talking about the pros of a Class B+ and the cons of it compared to, say, a Class B or a Class C. And let's start with the pros of a B plus over a Class B. Well, you know, there's going to be more room in it. Remember we said that the manufacturer can put their own RV on the chassis, and that means it can be wider, it can be longer. But here's a really good one. For you tall folks out there, 
If you've ever been in a class B van, I think you know how difficult that is for taller people. Generally, you're going to be stooping over as you're going down the middle of the van. Well, in a B plus, that's pretty much usually solved. There's also more storage in a B plus, not a lot more, but definitely more than a class B, generally speaking. Usually they put more amenities in a B plus as well. You get larger tanks like your freshwater tank and your wastewater tanks and so on. Not huge tanks, but better than you get in a class B. But here's the big one. Here's the thing that everybody loves about the B plus. You get a full bathroom. Isn't that nice? Because if you've been in class B's, you know that almost always it's a wet bath in there. So it's really nice to have a full bathroom in the B+. What are the cons when you compare the B plus to the B? Well, a little bit lower fuel mileage. It's not bad, it's not a lot, but it is a bigger, uh, more heavy type of vehicle. So there's a little lower fuel mileage. And it's not as easy to drive and park as a class B is. I mean, a, a B can go anywhere. You can park it in almost any parking space. You can even stealth camp in a class B and almost nobody even knows that you're in an RV. Now let's talk about the pros of the B plus over the class C. And for many, it, it is the size in that it's smaller, more nimble, easier to get around in than the Class C. And that means it's going to be easier to park and easier to drive and things like that. You're also going to get some better fuel mileage in the B Plus than you do that uh, Class C that is carrying a lot more weight. And here's a big one. You don't have to take a towed vehicle with you on your travels with a B plus RV. Again, it's smaller, it's more nimble. You still can fit in a lot of parking spaces. You can go downtown with it and move around easily with it, uh, in addition to being able to camp in it. So a towed vehicle is not totally necessary with a B plus, although some do use it that way. Now, what are the cons of the B plus when you compare it to the C. Number one, it doesn't sleep as many people because it's not as big. Class C RVs are really made for families. I mean, it's perfect uh, to fit a family in. And so very often you can sleep eight to 10 people in a Class C RV. Well, B pluses usually are really only designed for two to four at the most. It's also more living area in the Class C. Again, it's bigger than even the B+. You're going to have another step up in storage from the B+, to the Class C. And actually, in many cases, you're going to be able to buy a Class C RV for less money than you spend on a Class B+, too. In fact, the B plus and the B are some of the most expensive RVs per square foot that you can buy. So that's something that certainly comes into play. All right, now, having covered all these pros and cons, can we say that the B plus is the perfect RV? Well, my friends, there is no such thing as the perfect RV that fits everybody best. It just doesn't exist. However, it can be the best RV for you, for your needs. And that's something that you need to try to determine. I will say this, it's really good for couples, couples that like to travel a lot and couples that get along well together. I mean, that's important because when you're in a space that small, you had better be able to get along really, really well. And if you don't want that large footprint of a Class C or a Class A especially, then a B plus fits really well. Maybe you like to do a lot of boondocking. Maybe you like to uh, get into national parks in the 
their smaller areas, you know, the small campsites and so on. Um, maybe you don't want to take a towed vehicle with you. Well, then the B plus is going to fit your needs very well. Well, I hope you understand B plus RVs a little bit more now. And hopefully now you can decide whether it really is the perfect RV for the way that you like to travel and the way that you like to camp or not. Well, that's it for now. Have safe and happy travels, my friends. Until next time. Mm -hmm.